We have a giveaway going on currently for the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass. To be in with a chance to win, simply click on the link in the description below for many ways to enter. Good luck, and now on with the usual broadcast. How's it going fellow Guardians? We do have some news today, gameplay of three pinnacle weapons, the fusion rifle, the grenade rocket launcher and the awesome Rambo auto rifle designed to rewrite the world we live in. We have tips on how to win Gambit, tips on invading, tips on what to use in loadouts, we have tips on how to prepare for December the 4th. So don't just stand there, grab your tea cause I'm British and let's get this show on rolling. Let's start with the good stuff, pinnacle weapons are upon us, fusion rifles, grenade rocket launchers, auto rifles, pulse rifles from season 4, hand cannons galore from season 4, season 5 brings it all and as of reset on Tuesday 27th, it's all ready for you to get people, that's right. These pinnacle weapons are not tied to the annual pass, oh no, they are for every player that plays Destiny 2. So let's start with strikes. We already know how to get the pinnacle weapons and their objectives. If you don't, at the end of this video you'll find a link to that video covering it in detail. So if that's your interest, go check it out. But wait, what you really want is gameplay right? It's why you're here, so let's just play it. As you can see the gameplay shows a warlock and a titan with a red barricade would work equally well here, absolutely destroying everything in sight with what looks like a black mage from Final Fantasy XIV with those awesome explosions. This teaser alone has whet my appetite to hunt for this weapon even more. If we see this in slow motion, you can see the beauty of each explosion in all its glory. It's pretty much a handicapped Telesto cause well the Telesto does that anyway, but now it's in legendary form, Crucible is about to get even more salty, oh yes it is. Moving on to the second weapon we have a grenade rocket launcher. This thing in the right hands as you see here expertly rehearsed is gonna be dirty. Of course it would be a hunter cause well no other class can do what a hunter can do in Crucible. They are the experts of bunny hopping of that easter promotional time of handing out them easter eggs for one and all, but jokes aside. This weapon looks dirty and I can see it causing many a heartache in the crucible. Finally the third weapon, this looks an absolute beaut, just look at that majestic titan, look how he shoulders the burden of all and stands his ground while the enemies come in troves and the titan remains unwavered. Wait, you don't care about that? Okay, okay, I get it, it's the weapon you care about. Well, here's the footage in all its glory being showcased by a titan if you hadn't noticed. As you can see this weapon is an absolute wrecking monster and I can finally see this weapon bringing auto rifles back into contention and with that stability one can only assume Zen moment could very well be a thing. I am super excited for this, so much hype. Let's just check it out again because this looks awesome. Let's check out that titan one more time in extra slow motion, just look at how the biceps on that titan are rippling with every shot being fired. Did I say I was a titan mate? With those covered, let's now dive into Gambit. You want to win in Gambit? You want to succeed in Gambit? Then this video is for you. Simply follow this winning formula and it will save you 15-20 minutes of watching videos just for this. I shit you not, last video I watched spent 15 minutes on this topic. Right, so step 1, play in a stacked 4 team, I don't care how you get the team, LFG, clans, friends, paid for mercenaries, just make sure you go in with a stacked team or you're screwed. Assign roles and be ready to rock and roll. Step 2, and this is a tip to the one invading ok, you need to be 
very diligent in your skills when you invade. You need to make sure you have a yellow weapon in your heavy slot. Yes, it looks weird, I know. But to be a pro at invading, you need this weapon with 100% certainty. Yes, boys and girls, it's the Queen's Breaker bow. Pretty much aim at a cabal and you're gonna headshot that guardian. Shoot the floor and you're gonna headshot that guardian. Aim for the skies. Well, you get the idea. This is how to be a pro invader. The skills for this is crazy. Step 3. Loadout. So, you have your primary and heavy sorted, but what of special slot? Have you heard of the Rasputin Warmind? If so, have you seen this extra special shotgun it gives you from an ogre? You need this weapon. Then that's it. You're ready to become a god among all in Gambit. You pretty much want the Icolos shotgun, and you are complete. Bonus round! That's not all peeps, if you're a titan and have a warlock in your group, grab them Sinfoseps and equip them bad boys, jump in the well and smack that primeval and then let it rip as you laugh in glee and horror as the mighty primeval finally learns its true place beneath you. And well that's it, I did say I'd save you time, that is pretty much the winning formula for all Gambit. Right, so preparing for the DLC. So December 4th brings forth the new DLC and though it's rumoured to bring a power increase we simply don't know. So in the meantime, simply stock up on enhancement cores from the spider if you're low and materials from the planets. Infusions could very well be a thing again or if you're smart like me, equip everything you get till your max power level and then start infusing. Smart right and it saves you a shit ton of cores. This is what I did, and it's why I've got over 300 enhancement cores without even trying. Well, that's everything, peeps. Hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, a like would be awesome. Be great to hit 50 likes, giveaway almost over, so don't forget to take part. With that said, have an amazingly awesome time tomorrow, and expect a lot more vids in the coming days and weeks. Remain Legend. <laughs>